we tilled the track uh, two or three times the other day and it rained and we tilled and it rained. And you know, every time you till, these freaking rocks grow. They always look about this size and then you start digging and they end up being this size. So that's what we've been pulling out, but it's a beauty day. We're gonna uh, go for a rip later. Look at these lines that we're forming. The dirt was so nice. It is still really nice, very moistly. So we're gonna go for a rip in a bit as soon as we finish uh, digging up the rocks. And then uh, I think we're putting a new lift kit on Jay's Razor Turbo. So it's a three inch Super ATV lift kit. So, but yeah, pick up some car parts. Keep at her here, get after it. Just picking up a few car parts. Figure we probably shouldn't bury those. We'll bury the rocks, but not the car parts. So we got this Dodge Durango that didn't want to jump. It has studded tires. I, I'm probably gonna keep these tires. These are Zamboni tires. And we got the Saturn. This thing is just plastic, undentable. Then we have the Mitsubishi, which is awesome. And then the Ford Escape. I think the cat's clogged on this one. Maybe we should cut it off, but yeah. How damp are these seats? They've been hanging out in the rain. You wanna take this thing for a spin? Right. Oh yeah. I love how the back seats are clean too. <laughs> Maybe we should throw that in the back of the Durango too before it ends up on the track. Oh, my rock. There you go. Look at this. <laughs> this looks like a nice unsafe load. <laughs> Good thing it's just cardboard. We had a request. We had a request the other day for you to be in a YouTube video. Me? Yeah. Okay, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually did have this all tied up and I was going slow. And I made sure there was no vehicles coming when I went on the highway. And who cares? It's my truck anyway. There you go. <laughs> Where you so. been up to? Where you been? How's, well, how's Q? Well, Q's doing well and you know, doing the uh, UFO stuff. Uh, normally we travel around the world. We've been to 14 countries so far over the last five years, but this year, because we can't travel internationally, we've stayed in Canada and we've actually did three great expeditions right here in Canada, including one out to BC where we got some, we saw some great stuff, a really cool phenomenon. Wasn't able to get it filmed because it happened so fast, but we all saw it right in front of us. It was pretty cool. Nice, nice. I'm sure a lot of people have no clue what you're talking about, but you well, want to explain in under a minute? Okay, have them look at Rob Freeman UFO World Explorer. When I was a kid, I had two experiences, one which was seen by lights in the sky, seen by over 200 people in Sarnia, Ontario in 1966. They had the Air Force chasing it and everything, couldn't catch it. Two weeks later, I had another thing happen. And in recent years, we've been now traveling the world trying to document this stuff. And even the US Navy is saying it's real and they've got footage. So I rest my case. And you also developed an app and who'd you sell it to? Uh, actually to the to the stars people, you know, Tom DeLine's in the group. From Blink-182. Yep. So yep. that's very random, but... Yeah, yeah. And then the Q stuff, how's that been going? Well, the Q stuff is going well. That's the uh, Crohn's trial. So it's a medicine that probably will hit the shelves in about three years. And, um, you know, existing medicines just kill your immune system and you're still sick, but you can function. What this does is it appears to put you in 100% remission doesn't help everybody just like existing medicines only they help less than 50 percent of the people this is approximately 50 percent and you go into full remission mucosal healing endoscopic remission no sign of the crohn's so it's pretty fantastic stuff it's a, just a killed bacteria is all it is really and it doesn't hurt you it's it's non-toxic literally no side effects and we've been working on this for the past 14 years it will be out soon and it's going to help thousands of people with Crohn's all over the world. In addition to the cancer therapies that Q is working on as well. Cool. Well, sounds like you've been busy. So I've been trying to keep out of trouble <laughs> despite the pandemic. I right? know. Right? Well, enjoy your fire. All right. <laughs> I'll talk to you. Okay. Here it goes. <laughs> Come on. Not that crazy. That'll all burn. I'll get rid of all the garage cardboard. There. 
there she goes. All the sponsored packages. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure what that was. Nice day fire. Hopefully the fire is done. Or do, either way. Good motos. Just been ripping. I'm glad I got these back dialed in. We changed them up, made them a little shorter. Yeah, over the years, they were getting quite peaky, so they pretty much had to land them perfect. So we just kind of shaved them, made the landings a little longer. So if you didn't land it perfect, you pretty much landed on your nuts. So. Oh, it's a pretty good day so far. It's super windy. Sorry if there's any wind noise, but bike's working good. I got new tires, chain sprocket, handlebars and grips. Thank you to Donk, Scott Donk. So we're going to keep ripping, and then uh, tomorrow we're storing the boats for the winter and putting the lift kit in. So I think I got uh, a couple more motos in me, and then we're going to wrap her up for the day. Marcus is here from Saskatoon doing some work in Toronto so he's gonna come over and we're gonna uh, test out putting diesel in a gas car he's got it figured out and apparently it just smokes like a mother so let's keep moto in here and uh, yeah carry on Dallas is getting her dialed hitting the jumps I'm glad this track is finally cleaned up I don't know if you guys remember last year Yeah, the last few years, you know, I was so busy with traveling and life. I just had no time, I had no equipment. And uh, now that the guys are bringing their kids out, you know, Ty's got the skid steer, so he's been a huge help. Um, Dallas is bringing his weed eater out, so he's been a huge help when he brings his son out to ride. And then I bought that uh, rototiller, so it's been amazing. Except you got to pick so many rocks every time. So, but I'm not complaining. The track looks amazing finally, so. I'm glad the bike is working well. How was that? I can't, I can't feel my arms anymore. That is awesome. <laughs> it's just awesome. I was just saying how uh, how much work you guys have done to it, and well, how we've all done to it. And very much appreciated that it looks like a track again. Yeah, we all appreciate it. Yeah.
Yeah. We don't have awesome. to. We don't have to go anywhere else. Got a track in the backyard. I feel like a lot of people would kill to be here or have this. So. Uh, I love this time of year too because the dirt is always moist, moistly, moistly. Moistly. So there's no dust, no problem. The last month or so, she was so dry and oh, the dirt was like powder. So you could ride, obviously, but it wasn't as fun as it is now. So. All right, let's keep going. That was a good little shift. Oh, I love fall. Wish it would last way longer. Bike is working good. No issues. Loving her to the governor. I need a haircut. Shaved my beard off last night. Oh, what has happened lately? The Maverick. We got a new winch rope. New front axles. The Rhino 2.0s from Super ATV. Best axles you can ever get. I had mirrors on it from uh, Kamimoto, but... I ran into a tree super fast and they ripped off. Got that new giant mirror. I got a new shifter plate from Super ATV. I have this back light bar now, a little floodlight for the back. I took my whips off because they were screwed. The mud got in them. And I think that's it. Oh, Super ATV has done so much for me and I can't thank them enough. Like the tires, the Nerf bars, everything. If you need parts for your ATV, Maverick, Razor, these are your guys. So, the Shredders, we haven't rode them in a while. They both need maintenance. This is a prototype. You can't actually buy this one. It's like a 50 horsepower. It's got a really fancy engine in it. But, uh, yeah, they gave it to me to test it, and then that's a stock one. But we need to take them in, get them freshened up. So, then OGO, they have sent me... All the golf bags. They sent me two camo ones and two of these. I think it's called Punk Splash, but I just call it Zebra. So if you guys need golf bags, OGO are your people, or any travel bags in general. So what else we got? We got WD-40. They're, they're helping us out now with the new Smart Straw. It's pretty fancy. And then, of course, Olight supplying us with all the flashlights. So they make super fancy ones. These are the mirrors. So I uh, nailed a tree, <laughs> ripped her up. But other than that, Marcus should be here soon. And we're gonna make some videos with him. Uh, for part two of this video, we're gonna install Jay's Razor lift kit from Super ATV tomorrow. I think it's a three inch, I believe. So make sure you stay tuned and uh, we'll get at it. But for now, I'm gonna get naked. And she's a new, new day. Who's this? So winter is coming. So everything's hitting storage. Scott's in the way of everything. Whoop! <laughs> Almost took the bumper off there. Boys and their toys. Boys and their toys. Hello. So storage, 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 storage. You know what? This guy right here just passed. They owe me because last year their car got broken into. And the bugger that broke into him probably sat here in the middle of the night and went through his wallet and left everything here. I found it, took it back to him. So this is why you're the hero. That's right. This I'm is why sorry. paramedics need calendars. I also have electrified this, so don't touch it. That if any dirt bag sits on it again. It, oh, I was peeing on it the other day. I was wondering that tingly well, feeling. Travel through your urine. <laughs> it's too <laughs> thick. It's like maple thick. syrup. That's like motor oil. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you think I run in the bike? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's get rid of these and throw the lift on. Fell down. That's the cover. The cover. Got, a sick, got a sick 408 sticker though. Good well, to go. Freshy. Freshy. Frick, it's windy out today. Let's get this thing dropped off so we can get that lift kit on. Hey, well, you shouldn't have just backed in. Yeah. Frick, it's city guys. <laughs> it's a silo I always climb up. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Bear dogs. Bear dogs. Bear dogs. All right, she's lift kit time. Move a couple things around. Hey, get in. Then get in. Get in. Get in. Damn. Want to be a YouTube video? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, anyways, lift kit time. Round two. Yeah. Three inch? Three inch. Super ATV. Super ATV lift kit. Super, where is everything? It's in this box right here. It's in the box. I didn't really open oh, anything Watch yet. out, dogs. Everything's in here. Yeah, the old kit. Some straps. Ring of fire. Hello. What are you doing? Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. So we're going to throw this bad boy in here. In here somewhere. Somewhere, somehow. we got to move a bunch of stuff around, but we'll be good. Gonna They're going to do it. We're just going to watch. Yeah, we're we're going to have a few brews. <laughs> All right, let's go. GoPro is on. So we're just putting this first bracket in, that uh, little crossbar that supports the extra weight. And then he's getting his 4x4 four four Crocs on. <laughs> Uh, you got the light going? There it is. Got my nuts. We got our little helper. <laughs> hey. I think it actually is going to start raining. You think it's going to rain? It, I just got a notification it might rain. Well, it looked pretty dark when we came back from yeah. dropping off the boat. So. Moderate rain starting in 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you still got another wrong foot. <laughs> Uh. Just drop the bolts around. Right, right. It's coming together. We got the first one in, bracket across. This is the limiter strap. We're going to put the both sides on, then drop it down and get the. I think these are. That's crazy, eh? Quality. Quality. But yeah, we'll throw the other one on and then we'll drop this thing down and connect that strap to there. It should be good to go. Keep everything together. Keep it together. Forever. No, We're double jacking. We just gotta get the strap to reach the bolt there. And we're literally so, so close. close. I feel like if you drop that jack a little more, it should. It's not even on. It's oh, attention. never mind. So, well, I wonder if we can just try and strap the rest. Yeah, and just rush and strap the rest. We literally have one inch, not even. <laughs> so close. Put an extension on it. <laughs> You're not gonna pull it. <laughs> okay, strap it. All right. Let's uh, let down the front. We're good. Nothing's in the way. Nothing's in the way. Jeez, zero sag. Oh, dude, <laughs> we're gonna have to move around. Oh, we, we might have to take garage door off. There's no way. It's gotta come down a bit. Like, uh, we still have the back to do too, but. She's definitely gonna be a close fit. Well, it's gonna sag a little bit. I have to go forward somewhat. Like I parked on the road and just blocked all the traffic. Wrong way. Screw everyone else. It's my world, they're just living it. She looks good though. You're gonna need a step ladder to get up here now, eh? Not me, the wife. The wife, yeah. Oh well, at least you won't be getting your feet wet anymore. That's true. The Dork dry, him up. The dry feet life, eh? Yeah. It's like Nick. That's why I rode in the shirt. It's easier. <laughs> Didn't want to get my, my Crocs Your dirty. Crocs wet. It's got to be an easier way to do this. It's got to be. I feel like I'm just petting the shock. I know. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. We need a vice what we need. Yeah, I know. Ugh. Freshy space. Here. Just gotta be a little more forward. Well, here we go. Here's the three inch lift kit from Spur TV. We're all done. We were done last night, but I was gonna wait till today. Take it out in the sun so we can look at it from the side. It looks way nicer now with those big tires. I can't get over these straps. How thick these are. It's awesome. Now the kit worked out good. No issues really. We had a hard time putting the straps on, but just perfect clearance. Yeah, it looks awesome now. We 
got the spacers over here. They look amazing. All my wiring harness cell reaches. Looks good. I think I ended up with 17 inches in the back of clearance and then 17 and a quarter in the front. Um, I tried to get my half an inch, but my rear, my rear tender springs of they're done already. So might be time for an upgrade, but once again, your TV for this kit, highly recommend it. If you want to lift your razor up, just like this one, give him a shout. And we are back. Look at this. We got some more rain again. She's nice and moisty. We got Jay's lift kit on. And I figured let's just keep this video going. Do a little more motoing and then it's Thanksgiving weekend. Obviously, by the time this video is posted, Thanksgiving in Canada will be over. I know the American Thanksgiving is November, is it? So anyways, we're back. Bikes have not been washed. We've been so busy, but they're not really that dirty anyway. So pristine okay you washed yours i was just a piece of crap that didn't wash mine because you know busy in life and things so um hope you enjoyed the drone footage from the other day i brought the gopro down i have not put a gopro helmet mount on my helmet in a lot of years probably four years so we figured switch it up i have that uh, that raptor grip that goes in the front so we're gonna switch it up we're gonna do a little cat and mouse today so you're gonna fling all the rocks right into your chest <laughs> <laughs> like bullets all right let's do this was a shift and a quarter. My nipples are chafed. <laughs> I, took, I took a few rocks to the belly, but we're playing a little cat and mouse there. So the track did dry up, you know, as uh, we dug it up more and as the sun was out. So a bit of mud, just got nice and nice and that chunky stuff. That, uh, that good stuff, loving this new tire too. She's digging in quite well. So I do have a new helmet. Actually I got it, I think around February. And uh, I was having trouble breaking it in. So last night I put it in the sink, filled it full of water, dried it out, tried it on today, felt a lot better. So I put it in the sink again. So hopefully I can switch to the other helmet. It's pretty much the same black and gray. But other than that, you're going to be sore tomorrow. Yes, sir. He's already on the protein shakes already, the organics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We've never had a double moto video before. Moto, lift kit, moto. So. Hope you guys enjoyed lots of riding and uh, the lift kits. And next week we'll be out again 
hope everyone, all the Canadians had a fantastic Thanksgiving and, you know, up and coming Thanksgiving for the Americans, whatever you guys is. And uh, yeah, we'll do some more car stuff next week and hopefully get some more cars and maybe jump one. I think it's time for you to jump one. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do I'll it. I'll do it. <laughs> knack, knack over the car. <laughs> no big deal. Anyways, thank you guys. Thank you, Dallas. We'll Thanks. see you later.